This is me and my bird trying to create a game in just one hour. For someone with over five years of experience with graphic designing, this shouldn't be a problem. But graphic designing is only half of game making. The other half is programming, which I suck at. That's why I challenged myself to make a game in only one hour. Spoiler alert, it was not enough time. So let's go back in time and see just how I did, step by step. The first question you may be asking, what's the game about? Well, to be honest, I don't know yet. That's why I have a website here called the Video Name Game Jammer Waiter. Yes, the Video Name Game Game... What? <clears throat> the Video Game Name Generator. Wasn't so hard, was it? So I'm gonna press this button just once and make a game based on whatever the title is. Oh, did I mention I have only one hour to do this? Without further ado, let's go. Eternal Katana Slam. Uh, huh. As they say, with any good game, there's a good plan. So I went ahead and sketched out a quick plan in Paint.net. It's supposed to be a very simple game, since I don't really have much time to work on it. So here's the plan. There will be this spinning guy with the katana, and whenever you press the screen, you'll slam down onto the ground, and be thrown back up, thus making it eternal. Yeah, very smart and in in ingenuitive. So it's time to get to work, open up Unity, create a new project, a 2D of course, and rename the project to Eternal Katana Slam. And create! One hour on the clock, start. Ooh, okay, what do I do? So create one cube, two cube, three cube, rename, create a very complicated script for my cube, and... Nice. And I topped it off by adding a small feature, making the cube go to the cursor when clicked, and holy shit, that took all my time. The worst part is that the script doesn't even work, so I managed to figure it out with only 13 minutes left. So I spent the rest of my time tweaking the script and just playing around, because it's actually pretty fun. Ah, shit, time's up. Well, this is the game I made one hour, thank you guys for watching, see you next time. Actually, you know what, I kind of want to make something out of this. Time limit! Get out of here! Give me infinite time! Now instead of seeing whether or not I can make a game in a specific amount of time, we're gonna see how long it will take me to make a game. ANY game! Because I think it's it's kind of painfully clear that I'm really bad at coding and it takes me a long time. I mean, Larry took me like one entire hour just to write a couple of line of codes. Yeah. That's exactly what I'm doing this to improve my skills. I just went with the flow and created some lower resolution sprites. For now, it's just a decapitated arm with a katana, a ground sprite so my katana can slam things on, and also the spinning version of the katana. Went ahead and created the ground, and also replaced the cube for the spinning guy. And that's, uh, yeah, I never said it's gonna be good. I went ahead and commented my script so I know what's up. Also played around the interchanging sprites through script. That's to make this effect that when the player is slamming, he's actually slamming. Next, I added some trails using Unity's built-in trail system. Also, hitting the cube was kind of boring, so I added some pizzazz. Ha <laughs> much better. But this cube seems a little bit too lifeless. I prefer smashing things with emotions. Oh yes, now that satisfies my urge to destroy anything. I mean, it looks better. Um, speaking of looking better, this background looks really bad, so I should make it look better. I'm gonna just yoink one of Bob Ross's images and merge them together. Okay, now that doesn't really look good. So I use my extraordinary art skills to make an original background. I'm a genius, this looks way better. But do you know what doesn't look better? My life, I mean these tiles. But I don't really feel like talking about them since I screwed up the order. Long story short, they're bad and now they're good-ish. Actually, you know what, I think I know what would make it look better. Oh yeah, Kronk approves. Also, since I'm kind, I gave them a chance to escape. But since I'm also evil, I turned their movement speed into false hope. I also added a camera zoom function which uh, definitely needs to be fixed. With four hours on the clock, I decided to close Unity and go to bed. When I woke up, I decided that this completely sucks. So I decided to add ragdoll physics. I mean, how hard could it possibly be? Yeah, that's not it. That doesn't work at all. Almost works, oh, but it's actually completely complied. incorrect. Oh, what is... Uh, oh, no, oh, no, oh, that's oh, the same problem. Not? Oh, what the this hell, hell is any this? sense? <laughs> I'm going insane here. Why? And then I settled for a normal ragdoll physics. No fancy spinning. Okay, now that we have a way to walk and kill, we're now missing one crucial part of games. And that's death. So I went ahead and created a death animation whenever I hit this black box. But the black box 
Uh, it won't do. So I use my exquisite paint.net skills to make a spike ball. That's retractable. And <laughs> <laughs> so I simply gave these slimes the ability to shoot spiky balls and... Holy shit, what is going on? Okay, I made a couple of modifications and... Perfect. Also, whenever you hit the ball, you die, obviously. So now the problem is, once you kill all the enemies, well, there aren't any enemies to kill. And that does not satisfy my hunger for relentlessly murdering slimes. So I went ahead and made an automatic slime generator. So I can satisfy my personal needs. Ah! Oh, skittle my skedaddles. We're almost at the 10 hour mark. Yeah, I'm just gonna pause it right here. I gotta admit, 10 hours makes me feel... <laughs> So, now that we've got all three parts that makes the game good, it's time to work on the fourth, and that's a main menu. I mean, like, let's be honest, what, what, what game is good without a main menu? Like, I mean, every single game has a main menu. EVERY! So, my main menu is completely original, and it's set with a resume button, a restart button, and a quit button. Oh, um, uh, I also added some difficulty levels. This one is <laughs> impossible. We finally have all four of the most important things that makes a game good. Every single one of them. So it's time to move on to the fifth. What is it? The meaning of life. And this little decapitated arm's meaning of life is nothing other than this score. Next, uh, you know, I'm gonna skip the joke this time. The sixth most important part is sound. I used my absolutely awful beatboxing skills and made a couple of original sounds. Put them together and made this awful mess. Okay, look, I never said it was gonna be any good. I went ahead and added some post processing effects to make it seem kind of like an old arcade game. And with that, I was ready to export. And it gave me these files here. But I decided I want to upload to itch.io, and those files were incorrect. I need WebGL. Now that I have that, I went ahead and set up the page, and... Done. So this is the game that, according to the clock that had disappeared, I made in 10 hours. Okay, in truth, I made it in roughly 14 hours. But we don't talk about that. Oh, just as a FYI, this does work for mobile, but it's not built for it. So whenever you want to restart the run, you have to actually refresh the page. I spent enough time as is on this game, so I don't feel like making this more mobile friendly. Maybe someday in the future if this video does well, I can do a part 2. I had a lot of things that I want to add to this game, and also I need to fix the post-processing effects. Yeah. Oh yeah, if you want to try out the game, just go into the description below and click on the link, damd.itch.io. Either way, that's all. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.